And Sam Nishestin, for a leader of APC, Hassan Ayariga, has resolved to seek legal redress for being dropped on the ballot box by the EC. Now, he wants the commissioner to resign and just finished addressing the press conference at his head office. We'll bring you some more details of this very story in a subsequent bulletins. But let's move on to other stories. And the National Democratic Congress has described as frivolous the MPP's assertion that Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. elections will result in an MPP win in the December polls. The party's director of communications, Samuel Ofusuampofu, was addressing electorates in the poor constituency of the Western region. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. Hundreds of teaming NDC supporters welcomed the vice president into Mpoho. The first port of call was the palace of the chief of Mpoho, Osaberi Makoun team. The traditional council lauded government for providing a new block for the district assembly. March 2014, you made a promise to build an assembly block for this town in 2014. And we are grateful you fulfilled your promise. The vice president stressed government will continue to invest in infrastructure and ensure every community gets its share of development. The vice president and his team then proceeded to Edumbanso. <laughs> Director of elections for the NDC, Samuel Ofusu Ampofo, said attempts by the NPP to link the U.S. Republican Party's victory to an MPP win in the December polls is regrettable. If your party is not united, you cannot win an election. NDC is completely united. The vice president, while introducing the parliamentary candidate, Eric Kwekutreme, to the supporters, urged them to vigorously campaign for the NDC to unseat the NPP parliamentary candidate and retain power. Or the organizers in the we need to organize ourselves well to ensure that everybody votes on December 7th. And more on politics this afternoon. Tension is mounting at the Nshaiso constituency. In the build-up to the general elections, the NDC candidate, Dr. Samuel Sapong, has accused the NPP parliamentary candidate, Kennedy Kankam, of removing his billboards. And shortly, we will be joined by William Evans Inkum for some updates from the Ashanti region on this very development to witness that. Now, precisely we're talking about the Nshaiso constituency where there are reports of uh, um, some uh, campaign materials of the various political parties, especially the two major ones, being attacked. A um, whole lot of accusation flying all over the place. But this afternoon we are talking to the NDC parliamentary candidate, Dr. Samuel Sapon, who has a story to tell. Mind you, Proud to our coming here, we also had interaction with the MPP parliamentary candidate, and he has denied knowledge about this whole um, development. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Mm. So, when you have been complaining about the destruction of some of your bay boards, can you confirm that? Yeah, that, that is true. And uh, it actually started about two months ago. You talk of. Uh, um, I hold you about. You talk of Bekwa run about. Uh, you talk of Kwade. Uh, I mean, a lot of a various areas. Well, I, I early on spoke to the your contender, uh, Kennedy can come, and he also said that he has suffered the same fate. Oh, that that is not true. Um, about a. Two, about two months ago, uh, a journalist called me that uh, Kennedy Kankama has made a complaint to the effect that my bay board has been placed in front of his bay board. And I said I never knew anything about that. But it, if it is true, then I will make sure to rectify it. So I called my boys to go to the site. And if there is something to that effect, they should try as much as possible to rectify it. 
they came back and then reported that they've moved it from where it used to be it used to be to a different place indicating that the situation has been rectified apart from that there, there hasn't been any attempt to deface the the, the, the bay board of, of of any other uh, political opponent but then for the past two months what i realized is that people actually they use saw to cut the, the this in the bay balls others use blade to deface uh, the this in the pictures and uh, my boys were very furious but then i had to restrain them because they had wanted to also react to, to it but i've actually restrained them from from doing so mm. all right now continue to remind you that we early on spoke to kennedy can come but he said he, he was not going to react to this particular development so now honorable uh, people think that uh, politics though it's uh, the, the stakes are normally high but it, 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 it's just a game uh, at the end of the day we are all looking um, towards development why must the, it generate or degenerate to this level? Don't you think that it's becoming ugly? Yeah, it's becoming ugly. And these are all due to the fact that my opponent is, is losing the battery, with the battle. And that is why he's actually using this ugly means to uh, deface uh, some of my billboards. But then... Uh, have you have you have you lodged a formal complaint to the police? No, I haven't lodged a formal complaint. I have. I talked to him on on the radio, and his reaction was that some years, some time ago, he also suffered the same fate. And for that matter, he he doesn't care when I also suffered the same fate, which actually indicates that he actually knows something about it. But I, I, are you going to lodge a formal complaint to the police? I will have to. I will have to. I will have to. And that, that means that you are not going to see any reprisal? No, I will never do that. Because I, I'm a man of peace. And I know for sure that I will win the ACLC seat. So why should I fight? I mean, there's no need to fight. I'm going to win the ACLC seat in a very peaceful manner. All right. So, well, that is um, Dr. Samuel Sapon. He has been talking about uh, his billboard um, that are being defaced and all that. But I continue to rem remind you that we early on had a discussion with Kennedy Ajamp, uh, can come on phone, but he said he will not react to this particular development publicly. My name is William Evans. You can go back to studios.